All right, we're gonna go do this. Hi, YouTube. Edward Tyndall here. I'm not gonna show y'all how to build a barbed wire fence, but I'm gonna show y'all what I did while building my barbed wire fence. And after I got done, I just got the sliced up, sliced and diced all over. You have to be careful. I was wearing gloves for the most part. Um, if you will get cut up, if you uh, are not careful. So. I've removed this gate right here, where the horses used to be. This was the horse field. Well, it's still the horse field. But they've got the grass all ate down. Alright. So I moved the gate. I'll show you where. Now we have cactuses, prickly pear, pads, and barbed wire. This one's not finished yet. i got to put a couple more strands on there. And the latest piece of fence. We just now got the perimeter complete. I'm getting a 16-foot gate soon. It also has barbed wire and stuff. There's my two gate posts. There's a gate too uh, short. So I got it blocked up right here so horses can't get out. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's going to be, these are three knocks apart. It'll be eight, nine, ten. Gonna, they got to be three more right here, babe. Three more strands are going up here. I'll show y'all. These posts are 12 foot apart so y'all can judge by stopping, pausing, and everything distance. <sighs> My lucky girl pants. <laughs> um, oh, there's the horses now. They're investigating the situation. Hey, baby! Hey, 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 hey. I got a cable up around in there. Hope they don't run into that. They're just enjoying life and everything in it. They're not going to challenge this barbed wire because they're smarter than that. This is mainly about the fence. So I'm gonna keep on showing y'all the fence. If y'all can hear Ozzy screaming in the background because he's never seen these big horses um, out here, so he's letting us know. So here's how this goes. I've removed the bag. Got my handprint down there in the car, or not my handprint, I got ET down there. Phone home. So here's where I left off here. This one's gonna go up there, three strands. Goat's getting Sarah. Um, this is a cap. Don't hurt the goat. Come on, jelly bean. Jelly bean, jelly bean, jelly bean. All right, and this is the cap. We're going to paint this in hunter green, the same color as this. And this one has more in here. We had I had to hand clear all of this, um, which was a pain in the ass. I'm doing it. I'm making it. I'm still alive, guys. This fence is totally badass. All this had to be cut off. Look at this fence. This is another 2 and 7 eighths pipe so concreted in there that it's not going nowhere with another concrete cap. Isn't that cap absolutely BEA beautiful? I love concrete caps. Um, and the barbed wire goes on into the woods. I'm not fencing where the flood zone is. Well, the flood zone actually does come up into here a little bit sometimes. And this is how we remedy this situation. I've used a tree. That's, a, that's something that nobody wants to screw with, I promise you. You can see these barbs. These barbs are sharp, sharper than hell. You, you better believe me. When I tell you it's sharp, it's sharp. You get in that shit, it's going to end you. Um, and then I put a single strain across here because there was an existing fence right there. And if the horses respect that, that's fine. If they get out, I'll have to go find them 10 miles down the road and then bring them back in here. And then they will respect it the second time because they won't have a second chance. They're up there enjoying Walking through here, the idea they're going to clean all this stuff up. I'm tired of mowing my yard, so my animals are going to work for me and think that everything is good. So here's the existing fence that was here before. There is one, two, three, four, five, six total strands of barbed wire. The other one's right here. Y'all can see it's very camouflaged. Old, hundred year old gaucho. And then I've got this two and seven eighths pole. I mean, no, two and three eighths pole in the ground with homemade welded hinges there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Homemade welded hinges. This is the reason that I have not been making as many videos as I'd like to because I've been busy. Then we have a jelly bean footprint and then we have a, a Nazi dropped on the concrete footprint in there to commemorate the the day today. Also concrete capped all wet. That has to be set up like this. I got these two gates blocking the way so they can't get in here. The horses can't get in here. Then I've got pressure treated old ass wood that I had to use all reclaimed. It might not look good, but it is very effective, I promise you. Nothing wants to go through that. These strands are 
banjo string tight. We have all this over here. Um, this is a trash pile right here. A burn pile that was here when I got the place and I've just been adding to it. So all this is going to be covered soon because I'm tired of looking at it. Um, here goes this fence. I built a cross from my grandma's grave and this was a test cross. I have one more so I decided to put that in there. That was up here. It is, here's the other one right here. It was, uh, there's the frame and everything. It's made out of eight 80 pound sacks of concrete and um, about 50 pounds worth of steel and the water and everything. It's about 700 pounds, odd pounds. And I had to put my arms underneath it like this and it bear that heavy ass cross from up there all the way down here. I guess Jesus would be proud. Um, then I got that up there. Let me see. Um, here we use existing fence. Well, I didn't use existing fence. I brought this from West Texas when I came. This is, uh, I'm going to put a couple of T-posts in here, but nothing wants to go through there. I assure you that I had to go through here. This is a cliff right here, and I've been building on the side of this cliff. Hold on, I'm tied up in the barbed wire. Been building on the side of this cliff here, as y'all can see. Y'all see this? And I'm using natural, I'm naturally using trees. I don't like doing that, but I'm going to because it's a lot of freaking work and I'm getting old and tired of this shit. I don't like building fence anymore. I've built literally thousands and thousands of miles. All the fence that's on either side of the road in Florida, I worked on that. I worked on all the game fence out in West Texas, from Fort Stockton all the way to Sanderson, to Alpine, almost to Del Rio, so thousands of miles of fence. So this is all different levels of fence, and the reason why, if you look at this old tree, this tree is huge. Look right here, in the center of the tree, somebody has tied it around a little bitty tree at some point. This tree has lived, it's perfectly alive and well, and I tied onto that and continued to stretch. And this is a new one. There's some from the, my old barbed wire I brought from Texas with me. And then I got this one. I barely stapled it in there, so it'll. And then I stretched it. You can take and put a staple here, and then staple over farther and farther if you have to to stretch the fence until it's super tight. Um, the tighter it is, the more dangerous it is. And this is a very, very dangerous fence. Um, anything that gets up close to it gets served immediately and then they want to get the hell off of it that's the point this is to keep intruders out and to keep livestock and potentially dangerous or hazardous animals in um this side here i just put a goat wire up because i want to do that there's miss piggy hey miss piggy 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 so game uh or goat wire and then barbed wire topped uh, i put flagging here that's important if you got horses that are going to be uh, using it so they don't just run through it because they can't see it but they can see the flagging as you see through there and then here I got these old panels um, my grandpa bought these a long time ago and uh, they're kind of messed up and everything this one was bent in half but uh, I've tried to straighten as much as I can it's about rusted out and runt um, I did that so I could put the horses in here overnight and you see what the horses have done overnight they completely shit all over the place and cleaned that from this to this. So I'm going to start a garden area right here and uh, that will be totally awesome. This back fence here now, and then I got that fenced in for the hog. This back fence here that I built years ago is uh, about 10 years ago, I guess. I built this. It's out of uh, pressure treated four by four post, 14 foot long, four foot of it is in the ground. Um, no, it's a, no, it ain't that. There's three foot. I don't know if it's three foot or whatever. It's, shit, I think that's 12 foot out of the ground. I don't know. There's one hog wire, another hog wire, and then two strands of barbed wire at the top of this fence anyway. And then you got all kinds of invasive species of trees that uh, birds have shit on my line and dropped in here, which is going to be remedied by goats and stuff. Over here, I'm building another fence for our pit bulls. Um, speaking of pit bulls, I got in a hell of a fight with a pit bull today. Um, I was mowing a yard, and there was this pit bull there that's never been there before. 
and he attacked my lawnmower and uh he uh he kept coming at me and coming at me. Here's some running roses too. That's a dangerous fence that nobody wants to mess with either. So I plant running roses because they smell. I wish I could smell how beautiful this absolutely is. Beautiful. I can see up to my hand. This pit bull had a head on him like this, brown, big brown pit bull, and uh, he attacked my lawnmower. And I'm telling him to get off and get off, and then he goes away. So I get off to roll up a water hose, and I'm rolling up this water hose, and this dog comes back and he attack, he attacks me, bit my leg down here. There's a little bit of blood left there. He bit my leg and I punched him in the forehead with everything I had and it knocked his ass down with that hand. My hand still swell up. And he just he came back on me. So I punched him again and again and again. And he stopped and stood back looking at me like he was growling and drooling out of his mouth and I was like, what the hell? And I looked, I was get, trying to get Sarah to help me but she was jamming with Mikey with the country music playing <laughs> country boy can't survive so i was uh surviving that's for sure and uh oh, i got this fence is what's going up here so then the dog gets right here and i shit you not i'm not scared of anything or anyone if you back me in a corner i'm coming out and that damn dog was right here to me and here's my crutch he already got my leg and he's looking at stuff different stuff on me to bite he looks straight dead at my crotch and i come down as hard as i can with my fist in his head and knocked him to the ground and there was a weed eater beside me so i grabbed the weed eater and i swung it and knocked him in the face and he came back at me and i knocked him back in the face he spun around and then i jabbed it at him four times pow 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 as he was coming and then he went away and stopped over there got dazed and beat the shit out of him so he let me uh, get back to my lawnmower, and once I got on my lawnmower, I just left the job. I said, "Fuck that! I'm not, I'm not going nowhere to fight with a damn deadly, dangerous animal." I know one thing: he'll never forget Edward Tyndall was there. That's for sure. Oh, here's a kiwi I got on the fence here. Go like that. Check that out. It's so beautiful. Yes, I love that kind of stuff. If you love that kind of stuff, leave it in the comments below. I wish I had a go cam on when that fucking pit was messing with me. That's two badass battles I've been in with Beast. One with a raccoon. Two was with two uh, two uh, mountain lions. You can hear that story in my other videos. And then this pit bull now is pretty fucking bad. Um, I think he got hurt worse than I did. Which I didn't want to hurt him because he was just... Actually, what didn't even belong in that yard, I don't think. But he was defending a female dog. So here's this fence, and this game fence goes all the way down here. This is all my land down here. It goes all the way up to where you see that tree line, all the way back up there. These are all plum trees. <sighs> really tired. This fence is loose a little bit because the horse has been pushing on it. I'm gonna put a barbed wire in between each one of these. Put a T-post in between each one of these because I only temporary it on here. I'll go back up there in a minute. Look at these plums, people. Ain't these absolutely gorgeous? You got to love plum. You got to love plum. And these have we have plums on here because I got I got bees and stuff, and these are really good plums. And here, here here's here's the bees. See all that stuff. Busy bees working like cr at cray. They're working like cray. Plum, 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 plum. Then we have Bella Georgia white peach. And everybody that knows me knows that Edward Tyndall can eat a peach for hours. Look at that beautiful, luscious. Mmm. Mmm. If y'all could smell what this smells like. Right? Yes. If you build it, all your dreams can come true, friends. I built the shit out of this place. I built it up. And I deserve everything that I have. Here's a little ladybug. Look at that. Yep. I deserve everything I have because I worked really, really, really hard for it. Look at all the peaches over here. Bella Georgia white peaches. They, when you bite into this peach, you just and it'll drip juice off of your elbow. I shit you not. Look how many there's on here. Look you at know, all these peaches. I never like counting my peaches before they before they uh, go. But uh, yeah, there's our old quilt. And I'm trying to clean up everything around here. Here's another thing about having goats. You see how bushy this is? And then you got a canopy here now because the goat has ate up as much apple leaves as he possibly could reach. 
and he'll keep that tree like that and then you can go in there and you can trim all that little underbrush out and have you a perfectly trimmed up tree and uh i encourage goats to be in here here is a uh here's an awesome tree i love i grabbed this one for my acorn this is a sawtooth oak it's got saw teeth on it absolutely awesome Here's another peach. This is a wild peach tree though, like a kind of like a ranger peach, but a little bit different. We have blueberries and stuff in here. Um got a drip system going for the horses here. Um, yep, so that's that. We got bananas that survived. I don't know how the hell these survived, but they survived um 18 degree weather this year. And we got more blueberries. Here's a pea here's a here's a, here's a uh I think this is a cherry or a crab apple tree. Right here, there's little there's little stuff on there. Right now, kill them trills. Kill them. Us. Um, uh, yeah, here's more uh, blueberries. They got about 17 different varieties of blueberries. It's in here. There's, there's a little blueberry right there. Oh, and I'm not done working yet, people, so I gotta get busy. We're back, we're back to uh, this point here, and I'm gonna call this video. Um, I wish you all peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, watch my other videos while you wait for new videos. And I will be bringing new content. So, short this grass is, my friends. Look at that. The whole yard will be like that, see? All from horses. Horses have a palate for grass, but not for weeds. So they don't eat weeds. So now I got goats to eat the weeds, horses to eat the grass. <laughs> I don't have to mow no more. Lovely, right? Um... That's it. These are all pecan trees and fig trees down the line. I got fig trees that are freaking 20, 30, 40 foot tall, and they're all got figs on them. So, uh, uh, y'all stay tuned, people. Here's more bananas. I keep spreading them around, too. Absolutely love bananas. Uh, I want as many as I can get. We got honeysuckle. Got crepe myrtles. Um, yeah, them are all crepe myrtles down, that, down the line. I'm getting a 16-foot gate soon. And yeah, we got these pretty things. Flowers. Let's pretend they're out.